All right guys, this is a story time video that I wish I didn't have to tell, but I have it, so I'm gonna tell you. Yesterday was like the worst day ever. <laughs> my morning started by getting in a fight with one of my really close friends. Then I lost a key to an apartment for a dog I walked and had to deal with that. I'm just one of those people that if I do something that affects someone else, it just brings on so much guilt. So I was just immediately crying in the middle of Chicago. Then the real kicker, I was walking to the UPS store to ship a package and I hadn't been there before so I had my phone out looking for directions while I was stopped at a light and so fast these two kids I had my phone like this just ran snatched it straight out of my hands I'm standing right there and just started booking it and there is one second where I'm standing there and I'm just watching them and I was like what do I even do and then I was just like screw this not today and so I started chasing after them and I just started screaming at the top of my lungs like help somebody stop them help and I'm running and they turn a corner and I'm still screaming and there's a guy on a bike and he sees this all happening and he turns back and he's like I'll follow them just try and keep up and I was like okay and so I'm still just running behind them screaming they run down an alley still just running screaming help they get to a really busy street because up until here we were kind of on side streets and then they hit one of the main streets I couldn't see them so I don't know if they ran a light or how they got across but by the time I got there I was stopped and there's so much traffic I couldn't jaywalk casually across the guy on the bike missed them and then there's these two girls in a car they're like stopped at the light and they're like we just saw that wolf cake on after him and I was like oh my god okay thank you and so so flustered not even knowing what's going on I'm still just running all these pedestrians are like that way they went that way they turned after that store and I'm like all right just keep running and then the two girls in the car saw a cop car driving past they like flagged him down so now he's is turned around he's going my direction and he sees me running and he goes where'd they go and I was like that way and so he doesn't even know what's going on at this point but he takes off after them I finally get across the street we have no idea where anyone's gone at this point and the two girls are like can you track your phone and I was like I don't have another phone to track my phone with and they're like can you do find my iPhone yeah and so they hand me their phone and I'm like trying to plug in my stupid Apple ID and I cannot for the life of me remember it and so I was like you know what what's faster is my boyfriend has me on find my friends so I call him really quick and I was like look my phone's been stolen I need to look on find my friends and see where it is and he looks and they've already turned off the phone so location's not updating at this point, the girls are like, do you want to just get in the car? We'll go find the cops. And I was like, okay. And so I get in their car and she's like, I'm a veteran. Don't be afraid. We're going to catch those little punks. You didn't deserve this. And I was like, thank you so much. So now I'm in the car with the girls. Cannot for the life of me get find my iPhone to work. We're driving around. We can't find the cops, but there are lots of cops around and they're driving around with their sirens going, but I couldn't find any of them stopped. And so we finally like come across cops stopped and I jump out and I run up and they were like, are you the victim? And I was like, hello, I am the victim. So they're like, all right, can you come with us so I, like give the girls a thumbs up I'm good from here like thank you and I get in the back of this cop car and we're like speeding off and they're like all right we're gonna need you to identify the perpetrators and I was like so you guys found them and they're like yeah yeah we've got them stopped and they're like would you be able to ID them and I was like I didn't really see their faces but I full-on know what they were wearing I was chasing them so like I know exactly what their outfits were and I was like yeah I can ID them and she was like okay what they look like and I was like it was two guys like one's in a blue jacket one's in a black jacket and she's like two guys and I was like yeah two of them she's like okay and she like radios in and she was like I have the victim here she says it was two I was like what is going on we pull up there are legit seven or more cop cars there were so many cop cars so many cops I was so shook I was shook for many things obviously number one being I just got my phone stolen number two being so many people helped me and went out of their way literally no one had to do that and it was so kind and number three I could not believe how on it the cops were I feel like there's so much going on they took the time to take care of just me who got my phone stolen so many people were helping it blew my mind so 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 appreciative to Chicago PD like I can't even <sighs> so we pull up and they have these three cop cars and each of them has a guy in it and I was like three maybe they met up with their friend or something like I don't really know and so they're like all right we're gonna have you ID and I like get out of the car and start walking and they're like ma'am stay back and I was like oh okay all right I'll just. so I'm like blocked by like there's like six police officers standing in front of me and they're like stand behind us do not get closer and I was like mm, okay so they pull out the first guy and the first guy is wearing a yellow jacket and he's crying uh broke my freaking heart and he's standing there like it wasn't me it wasn't me and I was like it wasn't him they were not wearing a yellow jacket and they're like you're positive and I was like I'm positive it wasn't this guy I know it wasn't and then they pull out the next two guys and both of them are wearing black jackets and I was like 
like honestly i don't know i was like i cannot say for certain it's one of these guys it could be but i just have no idea it was so fast i just saw their jacket i didn't see their faces and they're like we need a positive or negative and i was like i cannot give a positive i do not know for certain and i was like was my phone on them if they had my phone they did it they're like your phone was not on them but they ran into a what do they call it a dope house a dope house i didn't even know that's a real thing they ran into a dope house so they may have stashed it in there we could look in there for it and i was like okay we can hold them while we look in this dope house and i was like all right that sounds good i don't know what else to tell you there wasn't really anything else i could do so the cop that was working with me was like all right well you're gonna take you back to the station while they go do the search we'll file a report and get all of your information and everything and i was like all right off to the station we go so we're back in the cop car i'm in the back there's two officers in the front and we're driving down the street towards the station and all of a sudden i hear on the radio we see two males approaching blue jacket tan pants and black jacket and i was just like that's them that's them and she like gets on the radio and she was like victim has identified that was correct proceed after the two perpetrators and they're like proceeding on foot and so she turns around to me and goes hold on and i like grab onto everything and she just flips it and the sirens are going we are cutting off traffic we're driving through parking lots like we are whipping it back over to where we were and it's like the same exact street that we were just on i guess as the cop cars all started to disperse there was still a couple cops lingering and the two freaking kids who stole my phone they didn't realize that anyone was even following them so they were just walking down the street heading home they lived on that same street that the other guys were found on and they saw the cops and one of the cops had heard me say blue jacket and the first cop that chased after them had seen them and so the kids see him and they took off running and so now there's all these cops chasing them on foot and we arrive in the cop car and after just like speeding to get there and both of the cops are like stay in the car do not exit the vehicle and i was like if you guys think i'm trying to go anywhere right now you are wrong i will happily sit back here i am not getting myself involved the cops take off they're legit like running and they're going through the backs of these houses and i can't see anything then all of a sudden like all the cops start coming out and they have the two kids in handcuffs i looked at them and immediately the other one i wasn't entirely sure because like they were both black jackets but the second i saw these two i was like it was them once i saw their faces again i was like 100 those were the two kids one of the cops comes over and has my phone and i had like a wallet case on my phone so it had my id and my credit cards and cash in there they hold up my phone just like this so it doesn't have my wallet case on it but they hold up my phone and they're like is this yours and she turns it around my screen is i don't know if you can tell it's super cracked and so i recognized the cracks and i immediately was like yes that's my phone and i was like it had a case like is the case there i don't give a crap about the case but all my cards and my stuff and my big thing was like my id was on it and like that kind of scared me they're like we didn't see it but we're gonna keep looking and they're like can you positively id these two individuals and i was like yes 100 positive id it's those two and then they made me 100 like positively for sure say it was not the other three guys and i was like yeah no definitely not it's the two kids you got and so after all this like the kids are put in the cop car one of the kids was resisting getting in the cop car so hard like there was like eight cops around him he's in handcuffs this is the kid who literally had my phone like in his pocket and the kid's like i'm not going and like cursing them out and i was like I gotcha. The sergeant there at the time was like, dude, you're in handcuffs. We found her phone on you. You ran away from us. Like, it's done. Get in the car. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Part of me feels so guilty that like people were in this situation, not because of me, but like, I don't know. For some reason, like I feel bad for it, even though like I know I didn't do anything wrong. I just feel bad that like all this chaos was caused. Everyone that lived in these apartments was like down on the street now and people were filming it. And I was like, there's literally nothing to film. This was a stupid cell phone robbery. One of the kids grew grandma's was down there and she was like flipping out and i felt so bad it was just so much like chaos but they take me to the police station and get all my information and everything and the police officers were so freaking nice also like i was in this police station for two and a half hours oh my gosh the nonsense i don't know if i can talk about the other crimes that i heard or that happened while i was there and they were openly talking to me about it but i don't feel like that's my story to share but wow sitting in a police station is legit like being in a reality tv show it was crazy crazy they had me sit there they got my information and everything but then they like made me wait for forever to talk to a detective and then the detective ended up not needing to talk to me but they found cctv footage of the kids running around a corner and then there's like me chasing them and one of the guys was like oh do you run marathons and i was like no and then they showed it to me and i literally looked like such a derpy kid like running down the street and i was like you thought i was running marathons running like that yesterday was the craziest day ever eventually at like damn near six o'clock 
the cops ended up giving me a ride home. They were so, so nice. Chicago PD was seriously amazing. All I can hope is that they were just two teenagers and I hope they learned their lesson and they don't continue doing stuff like this, but I hope that this just sets them right and they realize you can't do that. Just be a good person. I just hope they learned from their lesson. That's really it. So craziest effing day ever. I came home and Alex had brought me sweet greens, flowers, and Halo Top ice cream. I don't deserve him. Big takeaway, people were so freaking nice and helpful. It was shocking. I have faith in humanity. Also, I need to learn to be significantly more aware of my surroundings, which is crazy because I didn't even have my headphones in or anything at that time. I was just looking at directions. I need to be significantly more aware. I'm like determined to never let this happen to me again. Be careful guys. There are still people out there who do scummy stuff. Don't let yourself be a victim, that's all. I hope everyone's having a much better day than I had yesterday. I, for one, am not going to let myself have a day like I did yesterday. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like my story time videos and you like just hearing about my life, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you don't already, go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button. I post videos two times a week on tips, tricks, and organization for small space living. All right, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time.